schedules become especially powerful when we need to add information, combine the different information, and generate calculated values. Take for instance this window schedule. The consultants doing energy efficiency may be concerned with the glazing area facing each cardinal direction since these proportions will affect the solar gain of the building. Let's adapt this sum to meet our analysis needs. We'll first include all the fields that will be inputs to our query on window glazing by orientation. Then we'll need to add a text parameter called orientation. We'll group it under energy analysis. It's a simple text parameter. What if we would like the schedule to report the total cumulative area of glazing facing each direction? To do this, we'll need to add a calculated value. We'll add a calculated value called glazing area. This value will be defined as the effective height times the effective width. We might consider the effective height to be height minus 4 inches times width minus 4 inches. That 4 inches accounting for any window frame. Let's sort first by orientation, asking for totals, and add some spacing. Then secondly, by type mark, we'll have to click Calculate Totals on the Glazing Area for each orientation category. We can write Justify those fields that are numbers for better readability. So here's our schedule at this stage, but since we still don't have orientation defined, the schedule can't group and sort and give us totals per orientation, since that field at the moment is unpopulated. Now what remains is to add the orientation data to the windows. And this is easiest done in 3D view, where we can see and identify each window's orientation. Use the view cube to navigate to each facade of the building north, east, south, and west, select them, and enter their orientation directly into the Properties palette. I can do this either individually or as a multiple selection. Now with that finished, we can check the schedule to see that we successfully assigned every window to an orientation. Indeed we did, and now we have a clear understanding of the share of glazing facing each direction, north, east, south, and west.